Hey, 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 what's going on, Podcast Nation? It is Jason Harris here, and thank you for joining me on another episode of Strategy with Jason. I am here live at NADA 2020 at the Matador booth, and I am here with the infamous, infamous. oh so famous, oh, quite I tall. I thought Al was the, the famous one. <laughs> John Gotcha. Welcome to the Strategy with Jason podcast. Tune in for everything you need to know to stay in the know regarding the automotive industry. Here's your host, Jason Harris. John, what's up, man? How you Thanks, doing? Thanks, Jason. Good to see you, Good man. Good to see you, man. Good seeing Good to see you. you. Good show. Good show. It's been sensory, excellent, hasn't it? Sensory overload. Oh, my gosh. You know, it's hard like, jumping right back in the pool. Yeah. Right? Right? It's, I'm, I'm really whipped. I'm whipped. It's <laughs> what, Sunday Your dogs afternoon. are barking a little bit? I tell you, I was. It's. I thought I'd be like really excited about being here. You know, fresh, back off of COVID. Yep. You know, and and uh, I am. I am. But uh, I, it's like uh, working out. Yeah. You know, you, you the muscles, everything. You being on your feet all day. Gotta get. Gotta get a pump talking again, all the right? time. I've got a little raspy in here. And I know. Right? It's tough. It's really so rough. many steak dinners. Yeah, you I've know, eaten more beef. In the last three days, and I probably have in the last month combined. Yeah. I tell you what, the prices <laughs> have gone up too. I don't know about you, but I had breakfast the other morning. We had two breakfasts. We had the Denny's, uh, yeah, you know, potatoes, three scrambled eggs, and the <laughs> three slices of bacon. It was like eighty bucks <laughs> at the uh, con, uh, yeah, Vegas, Conrad, Vegas, at the Conrad uh, yeah, the Resort Conrad, World. It, it if you're looking, if you're looking to overpriced, yeah, overpriced, o- overpriced food, eggs and yeah, bacon, there you go. You can go over there. Yeah, it's it's you, there's no ten dollar. <laughs> dinners anymore in no Vegas. you know what i was te- i was telling him because i used to come here as a kid and i actually remember you know going to the caesar and getting the six dollar 95 yeah. prime oh. rib special yeah i mean i, I like, think we paid 38 dollars at the excalibur my buddies and i when we were in college yeah yeah i was like to, i think weekdays i think weekdays was like 25 bucks. probably yeah <laughs> unbelievable like, <laughs> no it's it's been great it's just uh you know it's you got to get the back into the that physical the mental it's, yeah you gotta you gotta get you, back into you the lose group. it yeah 100%. you lose it instead you you're do. sitting looking at a screen all day and talking to people on zoom and teams and it, it's, it's nice it's nice though. yes it's, it's nice, so nice finally. just to be finally back face yeah. to face yeah, i catch you other. i watch you all the time i'm, I'm actually get big, to shake your hand big fan well thank big you I fan. Appreciate that. good stuff good good information to share with the public and our our industry it's it's well great. i appreciate that well let's do this let's start this off for everybody out there that's watching and listening right now and uh, don't know who you are or how you kind of got started in the business i yeah. love kicking off these podcasts with a little origin story because sure. i'm always fascinated yeah. too right so john how did you get started in this crazy little world we call the automotive industry i know it's crazy um i married into this crazy industry i <laughs> met a young lady in at kent state university and um all i knew is her dad owned a dealership you know and um they had a she had a, a demo and her dad and mom lived in a big house and it's <laughs> great and i loved good. her you know i loved her so it's uh, we got married and um i i used to sell balances and scales for a company called o house and i i traveled a lot and was a manufacturer's rep and one day they they brought me in i said hey you're traveling around a lot and you know you'd be a really good finance manager mm-hmm. and i said finance manager well, that's interesting what does that sure. do you know and they explained it and next thing you know i'm going to the Galt school, learning about finance and how to talk to people about, you know, <laughs> extended warranties and putting them together and saying, no, your credit's a little shaky. You know, you might, oh, I mean, that may not work out. <laughs> so, so I learned all the good tricks. And, um, you know, from there, we, we had a Ford store in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, McCracken Ford. Yes. And they did teach me a lot in this business, a lot That's about awesome. retail, a lot about used cars. Um, and right now it's, you know, used cars is kind of where you oh, can gosh, make it right it's now, crazy, right? crazy, right? Do you think we'd, I would have never guessed in a million years that we'd been having some of the conversations that we have right yeah. now yeah. around inventory levels, yep. inflation prices of used cars. Like, I mean, it, 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 and, it's And right now nuts. it's really in flux right now. I was talking to mm-hmm. my last year, you know, I, I joined this overseas military sales group about 18 months ago and as their chief revenue officer. And uh, after 25 years in this business, right, I was with Ford <laughs> Direct, uh, uh, took care of their tier two business, became their, their you know, head of dealer relations yeah. and you name it. And uh, then, uh, you know, I'm here running this, you know, international, what I call auto group, you know, it's, it is, we and represent it is met multiple so cool franchises, some doing. of the greatest yeah. franchises out there, OEMs to the military. Yes. Uh, we're on every military base around the world. And, uh, you know, these people are out there serving us and keeping us free, right? And allowing the uh, world to, you know, live as safe as we can. And obviously now it's, crazy with the oh my gosh, stuff that's going imagine. over those folks in Kosovo imagine. you just got to be your heart goes out to what's happening to them and you you're I'm just amazed at the 
perseverance these folks have had over the last couple of weeks, right? I mean, you know, the the odds we're in Vegas and the odds were are against oh, them, right? Oh, absolutely. And and you know what I was thinking about, you know, I I just never thought about you know military personnel needing ve- their vehicle needs. I just I just didn't yeah. cross my mind. And then when I saw what you were doing, and I read a little bit about it. I was like, man, that is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Because you know they're just like everybody else. That's right. You know they're 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 100 heroes in their own way and everything that they do, but. They're ju- they are just people too, and they need cars. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, it, it, they gotta you gotta believe that they're overseas, right? And they're there for a couple years, three years, two, three, yeah. whatever, and then they extend their duty or whatever, and they stay there. You know, they miss home. You know, they want to yeah. keep as much about America as possible. So, you know, they're on base. They have the ability to buy American goods at the PX, and so a car is that same thing. They have U.S. spec vehicles that we sell, and um, you know. Some countries we have vehicles in in country. There's some places around the world that we're at, and there's no no vehicles being driven there. But you know we're in the <laughs> Middle East, you know, and these guys order a car six, eight, twelve months ahead of time. These wow. pre-orders um, for when they come home for yeah. their tour of duty, right? And um, we do courtesy deliveries back here in the states. Thank goodness for our, our partner dealers that are here in the states to take care of those guys when they get back mm-hmm. um, from a purchase from us. They help extend that through them, and obviously they become customers of those dealers uh, yes. here in the United States. The service, and maybe down the road sell them a new car down the road. So it's a nice partnership uh, with cool. the local dealers as well. And um, it, it, I'm just having a ball. It's a it's a 65 year old company, over 60 years. Family it, it, owned I, business. I think it's, abs- I think it's Crazy. absolutely amazing. A lot of fun. So um, let's let's get a little into. Uh, let's talk about the show. Let's actually let's do that. Let's talk a little bit about the show because sure. you said like it's sensory overload. There's so much going on here. Yeah. Um, look, we we we've been MIA for 24 months. There's a lot of new players. Uh-huh. There's a lot of old players bringing new solutions and new technologies. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, you've been walking around. You've been checking out a lot. What's caught your eye? What's getting you excited? Uh, you know, I, I think um, you're right. There's a, a lot. Of, I mean, I've been in this a long time, so <laughs> yes. I see. A, yeah, I was with one of my guys on uh, Friday, uh, my business development guy, and we're walking around seeing all kinds of people that I know, and he's like, you're like the, the mayor of freaking uh, NADA. I know <laughs> yes. so many people. John uh, is which is great. OG in a good way. Which, yeah, which is yes. great because, um, <laughs> you know, from my perspective, what I'm seeing is it's about changing that whole interaction with the customer. Yes. It's about customer experience, you know, and really setting apart you from – anyone else out there yes and it's and more than ever i think it's more than you ever. Know, we I, used to right. we used to talk about our kraken story <laughs> and we had our brochure and it talked about how great we were and how long we've been in the business and all the things we do and then you know and we're open to you know we have two shifts in service all that stuff you all talk that stuff about. yep it's how do you communicate that digitally and and uh, online with the customer uh-huh. uh, and talk about that so you know i i think you know that's what i see is kind of the theme is really engaging that customer experience and, and using artificial intelligence to talk to the customer. And yeah, I'm seeing more of that conversation really happen right now. I mean, we are sitting here at the Matador booth and that's exactly what they do and they do some amazing, amazing stuff behind that. And there are a bunch of other companies that have stepped up to the plate and are doing, they're doing the same. But, but you're right though, and what I'm seeing now is I'm seeing real customer-centric tech and solutions, yeah. all right? In the past, you know, been around doing this long enough, right? A lot of the tech in the past has been like, let me ease some level of your process, all right? How can I make it easy for the dealership? How can I make it, you know, how can I make things go faster in the dealership? How can I make things go safer in the dealership? And now it's like, we've been talking about being customer centric for a very long time. I mean, I think right. at least the last yeah. seven to 10 years, but it feels like in the last five, there's been a shift and now we are really seeing it. I mean, I don't think that there is a vendor here that in some part of their solution or their technology uh, offering, the customer is not at the center of it. <clears throat> exactly, and it should be. Yeah, I mean, it, everything revolves around your customer. It starts with the customer, and then it starts from that point. It's it's how how can I accelerate the customer talking to some subject matter expert on my team? Mm-hmm. I want to break down any barrier there is between my customer that shows up on my website to talk to a live, real person meaningful real connection right like we were talking about this uh earlier you know 15 years ago live chat came out right and john i thought it was it i thought we i'm like yeah yes we're here We've done it's it. happening yeah. there's a button they push it <laughs> so, someone from my from my dealership answers it yeah. they have back and forth like 
I thought we had it. Right. I was like, all right, instant meaningful connection. All right, and by the time the customer comes into the dealership, all right, we're gonna shorten this entire transaction time because so much of it's gonna happen online. Then as an industry, we screwed it up. And we literally turned it into a lead generation yeah, product. Yeah, just went right back to the lead form again. Basically. Can I have your first name, last first name, name, last name, email? I'll get number. somebody back to you later. Yeah. Blood, yeah. Si blood type, firstborn, yeah. shoe size. Yeah, it's like not building a relationship with a customer. It's about no. relationships. This business is really about relationships. Yes. And, and um, you know, I think first and foremost is that one of the things that I'm concentrating on. I'm working with the company to to change our website so that it's more customer centric. Yeah. Right. And and then. Obviously, I've, this company has been around a long time. It's great people. I mean, a lot of tenure. Mm -hmm. But, you know, tenure brings some things that I've done over and over just because that's my job and what I've done. And For sure. So when you're changing process improvement and, you know, squeezing as much out of what's coming through as you can as well, right? Yeah. So don't let things fall through the cracks and inspect what you know yeah efficiencies efficiencies, efficiencies. so, so we're seeing more efficiencies you know yeah. we're, we're seeing you know companies like matter and other companies where it's like they, they have this model of no lead left behind you know <laughs> and it's like that everyone is going to get touched in a meaningful way yeah. um i'm seeing a lot less of you know automated uh, responders of yeah. thank you for your inquiry. We really appreciate your time. Um, uh, w w can you call us? Yeah. <laughs> if you appreciated my time, then why am I not talking to somebody? Right. Right. I, right. I always love that when you call up. We really appreciate your business. Now the wait time is going to be two hours, <laughs> and uh, just wait around. You know. I mean, Delta. I love Delta. You know, and I hate them too. But okay, what's um, But you know, when you call in and they're like, "Hey, it's going to be two hours," at least they give you an option to say, "We'll call you back." I like that. In two That's hours. True. I like that. But you call I could, Southwest. I could, I could take that into Call Southwest and wait. What happens? And wait. Oh, it's just wait? And wait. Just wait. Yeah, they don't give you the option that they'll <laughs> call you back. You're like, I wish you were Delta. <laughs> right? Is that... That's what I'm... I'm serious. Call Southwest. Hashtag, I, I wish you were yeah. Delta. I wish you were Delta. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> hey, John, I know we're getting towards the uh, kind of the tail end of our time. and There's so much more that we want to talk around the customer experience sure. and what your company is doing. Um, and But I think there's a lot of people out there that are watching and listening that would love to connect with you and really kind of go deeper into what your company is doing and kind of your guys' approach to the customer experience. What is the best way to connect with you, John? To connect with me? Yes. I mean, I'm on LinkedIn. Um, feel free to reach out to me. I'll connect with anybody that's really around this space and customer engagement and automotive, if it be at an OEM or a, you know, a vendor or another dealer. I mean, I love talking about the automotive business and um, it's exciting. I mean, I know I married into it and backdoored my way into this <laughs> stuff, um, but it gets in your blood and it gets you excited. It does. It's it exciting does. to talk with people about, you know, what do they want to go with their lives and what's going on and what 100%. we're trying to, you know, I'm a big, you know, Chick-fil-A fan. Um, yeah, I couldn't yeah. tell. So you talk about customer engagement. That that's a great one, right? One hundred percent. You know how they take care of. They're just selling chicken sandwiches for crying out loud. And yes. I kind of kind of wrap myself around that and think about people before I sell any product. Exactly. You know, it's, right. it's like it's, I know it's, we're in a people business. Hey, this is a people you, business. They don't walk in your dealership and not have done any research. You, exactly. you can't ignore that this person walked through your door. You, you go, hey, Jason, I know you've probably been on the Internet doing a lot of research. You know exactly what you want. You probably know more about this than <laughs> I do, right? Yeah. And they're like, holy moly, this guy's probably right. He probably doesn't know anything, right? It's just, hey, let's just go get the right color, and we'll make the money work. I mean, you've been doing a lot of work. You know yes. exactly what it's going to be. Well, I, you know, I will say this, and I'd love to get your thoughts, actually, and I'm going to, because I want to get this before we end our conversation. So today. You, can, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. Yes, re reach um, out to John on LinkedIn, but I got, Twitter, more, I got one Twitter more question for John, John because Chuck, I want yeah, to get his Twitter. thoughts. Um, do you believe, and I just want to get your thoughts on this, because I've asked a couple of people, too. Um, do you believe and that I apologize the, for Lena, but I got bad hips, so. That's okay. That's yeah, okay. That's so all good. Uh, do, you, do you think that the sales process has finally died, and is it now more of a buying process? It's a, more of a buying process. Yeah. Well, there's three um, different ways I can fight it. Well, yeah, well, I always, I always say I nowadays can. it's not about selling anything. Yes. I, I think the customers come in ready to buy. We find a way not to sell them a car or give them a There you know, we go. Want. I like that. It's, it's, you right? just screw it up. We just right? screw it up. We just screw it up. So we just got to gotta be there. Because these people, they're not, I mean, maybe there's 10% of the people coming here you do have to sell to. 100%. Most of the time they've got everything they want. They, yeah. they just want to know if you're the kind of person I want to buy from. Exactly. Right. And, 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 and that's are, where the and people gonna, person comes in. And are you going to let me buy the way I want to buy? Exactly. Like, I mean, what, what if I just want to do all of it over text message and then just come and yeah. sign and drive? Great. Do it. You know? Right? Do like, it. Let me just buy it the way I do want to buy it. It's, it's, I, I think we got to get away from the mental thought of we got to squeeze every bit of 
cash out of that guy's right? pocket. You know, yeah. I mean, you're going to get there. If 100%. you provide value, they're going to pay the price. Absolutely. Right? You can't expect them to, to pay the price if they don't see the value. And you got to be it's honest with people. Just be honest. Yes. I mean, I think that's why when I came on, this, on the floor and on Friday and you see people you know and they like you. They smile when they see you. Because you're real. Because you've got to be real. You've got to lay it out there. You're yeah, a real you're person. You're just being you. Hey, i got a lot of skeletons. i got other <laughs> things that have happened in my life. We all do. 100% right? we do. So does that person that sits down in front of you wanting to buy that, that new Jeep Cherokee. Yes. Right? It's just, you know, we've done the research. It's, you do the, the respect to show that they invested in that. Exactly. And say, I, I, I appreciate you've done that. It makes my job easier. Yeah. Be more of a human, less of a robot. Exactly. <laughs> Very much. Very hey, much. John, thank you so much man, I appreciate for taking it. the time to Really good, me. Jason. You better connect with John on LinkedIn. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, I love man. it. Thank you fun. very much. Appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in to the Strategy with Jason podcast with your host, Jason Harris. Don't want to miss new content? Be sure to check out the full podcast library at strategywithjason.com to stay in the know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Happy podcasting.